Hi there, welcome back to Twisty Soundy Sounds YouTube channel, a channel devoted to English pronunciation. Today's words to learn how to pronounce are five. The first word is sarcophagus or sarcophagus. The second word is ambidectus. The third word is ambiguous. The fourth word is abobicondita, and the last word is speak and span. Let's start with the first word and study its uh, sounds. It's a noun, and this is how we say this noun, sarcophagus, sarcophagus. We can also say sarcophagus, sarcophagus. This word as a noun. It means, let's say, a stone coffin often decorated. A kind of stone put on a coffin which is decorated. It's called a sarcophagus. Sarcophagus or sarcophagus. This word is a sarcophagus. It's a four syllable word. It contains four vowel sounds. The second vowel sound is stressed. As you see, it is showcased by the big circle. The big circle indicates the main stress in the word. Co, we say sarcophagus or sarcophagus. The second word is an adjective and it is ambidextrous. An ambidextrous as an adjective, this word means able to use the right and left hands equally well. Someone who is ambidextrous is someone who is able to use both hands equally well. Let's study the sounds as usual. Ambidextrous. It's a four syllable word. It has its main stress on the third syllable. It's uh, showcased by the big circle, deck. We say ambidextrous, ambidextrous, ambidextrous. The third word is a noun and it's uh, ambiguous, ambiguous. Ambiguous as a noun is uh, the wax-like secretion of the sperm whale, usually found floating in the tropical seas, which is used uh, in perfumes manufacture. That's the meaning of ambiguous. 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 It's uh, ambiguous. It's a three syllable word. It contains three syllables, three vowel sounds, and as you see, the big circle is under the first uh, syllable which means it is stressed. We say ambiguous, ambiguous. The fourth word is uh, abobicondita. We can say abobicondita or abobicondita. Both ways are correct. This word, it means as an adverb from the founding of the city of Rome, or let's say since Rome was founded. That's the meaning of this adverb. When we say a verb condita, a verb condita, the stressed syllable is showcased by the big circle con or co, both are correct. The British way of saying this word is a verb condita, and the American way is a verb condita, a verb condita. And the last word is speak and span. Speak and span is an adjective which means uh, very clean. That's the meaning of uh, speak and span, very clean and tidy. This word is a three syllable word, speak and span, speak and span, speak and span. That's an adjective. Let's practice them again. Sarcophagus or sarcophagus, ambidextrous, ambiguous, abobicondita, Speak and span. Speak and span. 
above the candida, ambiguous, ambidextrous, sarcophagus or sarcophagus. Thanks for watching and goodbye.